Good morning and happy new year. Welcome to our online family and friends. Pastor Martin here with my wife, Lisa. We, along with the BCW fam, want to thank you for sharing your Sunday with us online and home. Thank you for being a vital part of Bridge Church Woodlands. Please continue to like and share this stream. In the comments section below are ways to stay connected, serve our community, request prayer, and worship in your giving. More information about Bridge Church is available by using the Next Steps link in the comments section below. Happy New Year Sunday to our BCW fam, our online community, all who are viewing this morning. We welcome 2021 with open arms. Believing, anticipating, and expecting the greater. A greater year, a greater harvest, a greater passion for God's kingdom, Lise. A greater love for God and a greater love for others. 2021, and I truly believe this with everything in me, 2021 will be greater. Yes. We received something over this weekend, and uh, I asked Lisa to share that with all our viewers this morning. I thought it was awesome, and I hope you enjoy this. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to Flight 2021. We are prepared to take off into the new year. Yes. Please make sure your attitude and blessings are secured and locked in an upright position. All self-destructive devices should be turned off at this time. All negativity, hurt, and discouragement should be put away. Mm -hmm. Should we lose altitude under pressure during the flight, reach up, pull down a prayer. Prayer will automatically be activated by faith. Once your faith is activated, then you can assist others. There will be no baggage allowed on this flight. God, our captain, has cleared us for takeoff. Destination, greatness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, LaVisha, for sharing that with us um, this new year. And I love that. I love every word of that. Yeah. And I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. Destination, greater. I wonder wherever you are right now, if you could say these words with me. This year, this year, my worship, my worship will be bigger, will be bigger than my worry, than my worry. And I truly believe that that our worship should be bigger than our worry in 2021. I wonder how many of us could admittedly talk about, even dialogue, how all of us in 2020, embrace this thing we call worry far too much. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? Right. I believe God wants to take us to a different level and a different dispensation with him. Right. When I look at this thing called worry, Lisa, and I've been studying this over the last couple of weeks, but I see worry as the fake friend of empathy. And let me say this to everyone that's viewing this morning. Worry doesn't love you. And when I talk about the fake friend of empathy, worry is something that preys on the vulnerability of your angst. That's right. Rather than the success of your freedom. Mm -hmm. It's like that friend who cares and loves you in your face, but spews toxicity and hate behind your back. Mm. Right? Okay. This is what worry does and how it treats you in front of you and then behind your back. It completely turns on you. Mm -hmm. Worry is not your friend, no. but worry is your enemy. Mm -hmm. Rick Warren said these words, worry is the warning light or the reality check that God is really not first. Get this in my life at this particular moment. Okay. When we worry, we might need to have a self-check moment and see where our priorities are with our God. That's right. Worry is spiritual, Lisa, nearsightedness, mm -hmm. a mishandling of looking at little things and magnifying their value rather than God's value. That's right. 
Worry is surely the beginning of pride and the end of trust. Mm -hmm. And let me say that one more time. Worry is the beginning of pride and the end of trust. B.C. Woodlands fam, online community, if we are not careful, and God has been dealing with me in reference to this portion of our message, if we are not careful during this kingdom journey, our worry can become the shell to our pride, stifling our trust, Lisa, That's right. redirecting our focus and sabotaging our worship. In 1 Peter 4, the recipients of this letter that was written were experiencing trials. Mm -hmm. Now, these are church folk, if I could say that, right? These individuals were experiencing trials. They were experiencing worry and anxiety, harsh treatment, and even suffering. Mm -hmm. Peter warned them that these times would come and these times have come, but also encouraged them that God's care surpasses their concern that's right no matter where you are this morning in reference to your circumstance god is bigger that's right than your circumstance Amen. and i'll read to you first peter 4 6 through 7 and it says here in the word of god therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god yes set aside self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service, excuse me, in his service at the appropriate time. Right. Verse seven says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him, Amen. on God. For he cares about you with the deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Mm -hmm. This is powerful in verse 6 and 7 of 1 Peter 4. Peter doesn't only give us the key, Lisa, to favor and honor with God. Yes. He gives us the roadmap to releasing our worry, That's right. to releasing our fear mm -hmm. and, and angst. Mm -hmm. Let me say this. Pure humility is always a prerequisite to true worship. Right. Always. Pure humility is always a prerequisite to true worship. Mm -hmm. You see, when you give God your cares, yes. when you give God your anxiety, yes. when you give God your worries, you trust him, Lisa. That's right. By eliminating your pride and surrendering to his presence. Yes. This is true worship. Mm -hmm. When we worry, we are minimizing what God can do and maximizing what man cannot do. That's right. In reality, we are trusting in our own ideology and attempting to debunk God's authority and his power, which equals our pride. Yes. Hear me this morning. We cannot have the release of our worry without the elimination of our pride. That's right. It just can't happen. Mm -hmm. And we cannot experience true worship without the foundation of pure humility. Yes. It just cannot happen. In the last part of Matthew 6, Jesus emphatically speaks about the answer to worry and anxiety, Lisa. Mm -hmm. He says, do not worry about your tomorrow. Right. And we've talked about this subject from time to time. Trust in the sustenance of your today. That's right. Not tomorrow, but today. God's grace will cover you in your today. Yes, amen. He wants you to see your right now. Mm -hmm. And I read to you Matthew 6 and 34, verses 25 through 34 gives us the cure to worry. But I want to point out verse 34 here this morning. So do not worry about tomorrow, yes. for tomorrow will worry about itself. Mm -hmm. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That's right. And amen to that verse. Amen. I truly pray that this helps someone on the first day of Sunday, 2021. BCW fam, online community, all who are viewing this morning. Lisa, mm -hmm. talking to myself, Martin, he's a God that knows our name. Yes, he does. 
He is a God familiar with our circumstance. Amen. And he's a God whose mercies are bigger than our worries. Yes. What he's waiting on is our worship. Mm -hmm. Every time I feel worry and anxiety, Lisa, I'm reminded of what Jeremiah said about God's faithfulness in Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3 and 21 through 23 reads like this. This I recall to my mind, therefore mm -hmm. I have hope. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to remind yourself when you're going through those circumstances because hope is still there. It is of the Lord's mercies mm -hmm. that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning and great is thy faithfulness. Yes, amen. His mercies, online family, BCW's community, his mercy are new every morning. Yes, amen. Great is his faithfulness. His sustenance, Lisa, his provision will be sufficient for our today and for our tomorrow. His faithfulness will produce brand new mercies bigger than our worries. Yes, amen. He's just waiting on our worship. God is waiting on our worship. As we transition to the end of our stream this morning, know this. Our worry will always be contrary to God's spirit. That's right. Our worry will always be contrary to our submission and our trust in his control. Amen. God's will is not in our angst. No. His will is not in our anxiety. God's will is always in our submission yes. to worship. Mm -hmm. And our submission, get this, requires us to let go mm -hmm. of what we think we control That's right. and allow God to control what is already his. I hope you get that. That's powerful stuff, powerful revelation. Worry will take our eyes off of what we were created for. Amen. And shift them to everything not created for us. Worry affixes our paradigm to the limited capacity of what humanity can see, think, and do. While worship opens the floodgates of heaven to distort discharge, excuse me, unlimited blessings farther than expectation yes. or imagination. Worry seeks to keep us in bondage That's right. while worship divinely sets us free. Worry focuses on our current circumstance, Lisa, mm -hmm. while worship looks at the miracle in the making. Yes, amen. Worry always defaults to the doubt of the natural, right? Mm -hmm. While worry while worship takes us to the dimension of the supernatural, worry wrestles with the impossible while worship invites it in. Amen. Let your worship mm -hmm. be bigger than your worry. Yes. And I end with this, your release is in your worship. That's right. Your deliverance is in your worship. Amen. The answer is in your worship. Your anointing is in your worship. Your favor is in your worship. Your blessing is in your worship. A new you in 2021 is in your worship. We were created for worship and not worry. Can we pray? Lord, we come to you this morning, God, giving you our worship. Yes releasing our anxiety, releasing our worry, God, and choosing to worship you, choosing to trust you, yes. knowing that you hold our every moment, you know our tomorrow, God, you knew our name before we were ever created, Jesus. Yes. We release that, we rest in that this morning, right now, God. God. We release For 2021, God, yes. we choose to walk in your purpose. We choose to be bold in your favor, Lord. Jesus. We cast every care upon you. We trust you. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lisa, for that. I believe that. I walk in that. Ian McLaren said these words, Worry does not empty 
tomorrow of its sorrow, but it does empty today of its strength. I believe in 2021, God is desiring his children to exchange our worry for worship. Our worship is our everything, basically. And our worship is awaiting our life. And can I say this? Bye-bye, Felicia. Hello to freedom. Worship is wait. Worship is wait. Have an amazing week. Happy New Year. And let your worship be bigger than your worry. We love you to life. God bless. God bless.